Stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. Western Cape Transport MEC Bonking Kozi Madiki Zella has been suspended for 14 days while an investigation is launched into the misrepresentation of his qualifications. Madiki Zella claimed to have held a BCom in Human Resource Management from UNISA in 1999, but later backtracked, saying his biography should have indicated that he had not actually completed his studies. Madiki Zella is also the DA's Western Cape leader. Meanwhile, the DA says it is astounded by the appointment of Thomas Kokolo as the acting SAA CEO. Kokolo has no real competitive commercial experience in any private sector, let alone the airline industry, says the Democratic Alliance. The Financial Services Conduct Authority has begun an insider trading investigation that will, it says, cover disclosures and transactions in huge group securities during January. This investigation may be related to transactions by third parties who may have had prior knowledge of huge groups planned bid to buy software services group Adapt IT. But the FSCA says of another investigation into huge group share trading that it has found insufficient evidence that huge group manipulated its share price which rose about 40% over a six-week period to make it more feasible to launch its all-share offer for Adapt IT. South Africa's central bank governor says he sees room to keep interest rates low. Governor Lesetja Kanyaga says as long as inflation is remaining contained, the central bank would have no reason to remove the accommodation that we are currently providing. The Biden administration has announced tough new sanctions on Russia and formally blamed the country's premier intelligence agency for the sophisticated hacking operation that breached American government agencies and the nation's largest companies. The New York Times reports that this is the broadest effort yet to give more teeth to financial sanctions, which in the past have failed to deter Russian activity. The sanctions are aimed at choking off lending to the Russian government. For more on those stories, do go to biznewsradio.com. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.